One of the first things you see when shopping for a TV is its resolution. You will often see the resolution slap right on the box or even in the model name. 4K TV started to dominate the TV market in the middle of the 2010s, and they soon took over from 1080p as the most common resolution found on TV. Almost every TV from big manufacturers has a 4K resolution, and it's actually hard to find 1080p TV now. But what exactly are the differences between each? This video looks at the differences between 4K and 1080p TV and how they affect your viewing experience. Fork and 1080 I refer to the resolution of the display. A 1080 TV has 1920 horizontal pixels and 1080 vertical pixels, while a fork TV has 3840 horizontal pixels and 2160 vertical. It can get confusing because 1080 refers to the number of vertical pixels, 1080, but fork refers to the number of horizontal pixels, 3840. So while the name makes it sound like a fork display has four times the amount of vertical pixels, in actuality, the amount of vertical and horizontal pixels on a fork display are each double that of a 1080 display. However, this means that overall, a fork TV also has four times the total amount of pixels as a 1080 TV which you can see in the table below. There are different marketing names for each, but having a 4K TV doesn't necessarily mean it's better than a 1080p. There are many different factors that affect the picture quality. A higher resolution simply means it supports more content and delivers crispier images. As 4K TVs are the norm, native 4K content is also easy to find on most streaming apps like Netflix, Disney Plus, and Amazon Prime Video. Physical video sources, like Blu-ray players and gaming consoles, are starting to support a 4K resolution as well, but they were limited to 1080p for a long time. Regular Blu-ray discs were 1080p, and there are now 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray discs as well, but it's an entirely new format and requires you to upgrade your Blu-ray player and purchase new 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray discs. The original Xbox One and PS4 were limited to 1080p, and then the PS4 Pro and Xbox One X slash S, followed by the PS5 and Xbox Series X. It's becoming harder to find 1080p TVs in the 2020s, and they're usually limited to small, entry-level models. If you have limited space and need a small TV, you likely need to get a 1080p model, since 4K TVs are usually available in larger sizes. The two photos above illustrate an identical image at different native resolutions, which means the image resolution and the TV resolution are exactly the same. The first photo is a 4K image displayed on the Hisense H9G, and the second is a 1080p image displayed on the TCL 3 Series 2019. The 4K image is smoother and has more detail than the 1080p image. Look closely and you'll see that the edges around objects in the 1080p picture are a bit more blurry, and text looks clearer on the 4K TV. The difference is that the higher pixel count of a 4K screen allows for a more natural representation of the picture, with added detail in the image, a test says. However, it can be very hard to tell the difference when viewing at a distance, and the jump in quality isn't as noticeable from regular HD, which is 720 type, to 4K. There are limits to what the eye can perceive, so if you sit too far from your TV, you won't be able to see all the detail in the image. That means that if you sit too far away from a 4K TV, the picture may look like what you'd get on a TV with a lower resolution screen. This chart illustrates the dividing line for normal 20-20 vision. To use the chart, check your viewing distance on the vertical axis and the size of the TV on the horizontal one. If the resulting position is above the line, you probably won't see a major difference between a 1080 type and a 4K TV. Essentially, there's only a noticeable difference if you sit close to a large screen TV. That doesn't mean you won't see any difference at all if you sit further away. It just means it won't be significant. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.